Hi I am London Cars, you can get started in motorsports with cars that are significantly less expensive than some of the ones you'd find at a dealership. Yes, they'll be slower, but when you're just starting out, slower is a good thing. It forces you to squeeze every ounce of performance out of the car. If you're looking to start racing on a budget, these are the 10 best cars for you. BMW 3 Series Fact, you can grab any 3 Series BMW from the early 1980s to the mid 2000s, take everything out of it except for the front seats, and have a blast. There are myriad racing series dedicated to just this car. A 330i can be had for under 1 grand and the 3 Series Compact has a racing series of its own. Mazda MX-5 Maeta Every time someone tells me they are surprised that people race Maetas, I'm stunned. Without compiling official numbers, I'd wager the Maeta is the single most raced vehicle in the UK. Why? Because of a cheap price and a load of fun. Porsche 944 For all the same reasons as the Bimmer and Maeta above, the 944 SA trackside staple. It won't break the bank, it's forgiving if you screw up, and you're legitimately racing a Porsche. What's not to love? Although the models under 5 grand will not be the most pristine models. Honda Civic. Yes, this is a decades old Honda. And, yes, in bone stock form it will make you look like a pizza delivery boy. However, this is the lightest car on this list. Once you've seen one head into a corner seemingly without even touching the brakes, you'll understand why so many love this car. With a huge tuning community behind it a Type R can be had for under 2 grand. Nissan 350Z. The 350Z is no stranger to performance, of course, and its racing heritage dates back decades, to the days when Paul Newman used to race his Z. Now, though, it's rapidly becoming a prominent choice for budget racers, and there's even a series dedicated entirely to ZS. With huge aftermarket support this is a good choice. Porsche Bonster. Bonsters are getting so cheap these days that building one into a bonafide race car is downright affordable compared to many options. A mid-engine sports car for under 5 grand, what a steal. Mini the Mini Cooper's racing heritage dates all the way back to its inception. John Cooper built some of the finest Formula 1 cars in his day, and the first Minis routinely beat up much larger and more powerful cars on racetracks around Europe. Today's Minis, yes, it's all caps now for legal reasons, can still do that. A Cooper S would be a good choice and can be found under £1,500. A kart no, not a go-kart. Those are for kids. If you really want to get into racing and learn from scratch, buying a real kart for a few grand and taking it to your local karting track is hands down your most cost-effective option. You can always step up to cars later. Thank you for watching please like and subscribe.